Hello, everybody. On Thursday, I went down to Florida to visit Disney World. This is a big <laughs> Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed thousands of innocent men, women, and children. We should double the taxes. Uh, I hear that I'm still pretty big on Twitter, Facebook, socialized media. <laughs> Let us remember that if this financial crisis taught us anything, it's that we cannot have a thriving Wall Street and individual liberty. Tonight, I want to speak about how we move forward to an economy weakened by outsourcing, bad debt, and phony financial profits. You send a kid to the emergency room, they end up taking up a hospital bed. It costs when, if you, they just gave, you gave them treatment early, and they got some treatment and a, a breathalyzer. Depression and fascism. We must also reaffirm that the United States is at war with Islam. I've made clear, just as President Bush did shortly after 9-11, I took office, we lost nearly four million jobs. It was wrong. It was irresponsible. And it plunged our economy into a crisis that put millions out of work, saddled us with more debt, and left innocent, hardworking Americans holding the bank. Some Republicans have suggested that the bill contains a few secret provisions. Now, that's ridiculous. There aren't a few secret provisions in the health care plan. There are like hundreds. <laughs> At the end of World War II, when another generation of heroes returned home from combat, they built the strongest economy and middle class the world has ever known. So let's change it. First, by moving jobs and profits overseas. In addition to John, sorry, the, the, uh, I just noticed that uh, I, I jumped the gun here. <laughs> up. I'd already, I'd already introduced all you guys.